down if we go uh, most medial on the on the rectus and have some have uh, Katie extend her leg we'll feel the VMO so it's you all you all yeah. have one what? whether it's prominent is another story <laughs> um, and so I can either have her lift but I think better is to say don't let me push you down and I can see her VMO and then just opposite to that will be the lateralis more prominent kind of through the central cent center is the rectus you'll learn there's all sorts of studies that say we can specifically well there's theories that we can specifically strengthen one part of the quad but you really can't it's all the same muscle it all extends the knee but we can palpate different different regions of it so that's the medialis um, so we can only palpate the medialis at the VMO. we're not palpating it anywhere yeah we're just going to palpate it yep yeah, we're going to we're going to palpate it distally only the silly. When you yeah. say VMO, is that standing for vastus medialis? Yeah. Oblique. Yeah. Oblique. yeah, so. Okay. Yeah, sorry. So v, no. well, vastus medialis, we'll leave it at that. We'll palpate um, distally. All right, rectus femoris, um, we did at the insertion. Vastus lateralis, we're going to have them sit at the edge. We'll find the greater trochanter. Um, and then we're going to, with the pads of three or four fingers, follow the fibers of the vastus lateralis all the way down to the lateral aspects of the thigh. Of the thigh. So it's really just going to be most lateral. Um, but again, they all extend the knee. The most prominent, I think, is is that you know vastus medialis at the at the distal medial component of the quad and the rectus, muscle belly. Let's see what else is sitting, and then we'll go on your. Um, belly. Medial meniscus, so it's a soft tissue structure, but now you have to have really good bony palpation in order to find the medial meniscus. So what we're going to do is we're going to find, um, we found the medial lateral, same technique. So we'll find the femoral condyles, medial and lateral, and then let's just do for the sake for you guys to see, we find the medial tibial condyle, and then the space in between is where the meniscus is. So when we say we're palpating the meniscus, we're really palpating the joint space between the, the uh, femur and the tibia. So I come into that joint space and then I can palpate sort of anteriorly. I usually start all the way at the um, patella tendon and then work my way, you know, laterally in that entire region, you're palpating the medial meniscus, the exact opposite we're doing for the lateral meniscus. So essentially we're palpating the knee joint line, the femoral tibial joint line. Is that tender? No. Okay. Is it tender if it's smooth? So sometimes it is, but there's, what is the specificity of a tender? I don't know. I, I don't know, <laughs> the meniscus and all that. Um, it, it, I mean, if you have a torn meniscus, and you press on it, it's, it could turn out, and, and the person's response may be pain. Um, it may not. The inner, if you have a meniscal tear and the tear is located in the inner portion of the medial meniscus, that may not be very painful because there's just no neural no structure that we may know no vascular no structure done medially. Uh, I mean, inter, uh, yeah, medially, internally into the meniscus. If it's a lateral tear, it could be very painful because that area does get famous and, and neuro supply. Uh, yeah, so what so I was... Whether or not it'll be painful may, may or may not be. Yeah, so there's different signs you learn to diagnose things in your patients. And so I asked just because there's an article I think that came out maybe in the last year or two, and I don't remember the specifics that said, um, you know, palpating the meniscus is not a very saying this is tender and then diagnosing somebody with a meniscus problem isn't a very strong um, good test so what would you be palpating for there well so the thing we do in pt as you'll learn is we use clusters of tests so if this word positive and i did a mcmurray's test and that was positive and i did a thesley's test and that was positive i put those three things together and say now my confidence that there's a meniscus problem is growing stronger but via palpation alone i wouldn't have enough confidence to say it's a meniscus problem. That's all next semester. Yeah. Okay, lay on back. And ortho. Yeah, and ortho, yeah. I'll, I'm coming, you can use the pillow. So again, that's why this is cumulative, right? So next semester when you start learning these meniscus special tests, 
and one of them is palpate the medial meniscus. You gotta know how to palpate the medial meniscus. All right, so let's bend the knee. So MCL, it's kind of similar to just finding the medial meniscus. We need to find the uh, medial femoral condyle and we need to find the medial tibial condyle. And then we are looking for that space in between. Connecting is going to be the, menis uh, the MCL. And then we can not as easily medially find the borders of it. Um, it's, hard, it's hard to do that. Um, so I think in order to feel what a, like a ligament really feels like, you focus on finding that LCL because you'll, you'll feel kind of that guitar string type sensation. Um, but anyway, connecting those two spots from a medial standpoint is going to be our LCL. And so it's kind of like a bursa. It doesn't really feel like much until it's tender. If somebody sprained it, then it may be, a, it may be something that's painful when you palpate it. And then Chris, you would go do some varus and valgus testings, maybe some uh, anterior and posterior drawer tests and a couple other special tests of the knee. And if those were painful or positive, whatever their operational definition, definition is, in addition to that MCL being tender, then your suspicion or your confidence that they have an MCL injury starts to, to grow. All right, bend this knee for me, Katie. All right, we'll do this one. So same landmarks, now we're just lateral. Essentially, we're going to find the lateral femoral condyle. We're going to find the lateral, um, the fibular head. And then we're going to feel for that ligament in between. And that's going to be her LCL. So this one, you really should be able to distinctively feel the LCL. You can kind of, in this position, feel the, when you're on one edge to the other. You can feel it on yourselves too. Okay, that's LCL. What else do we got for the knee? I think we're going prone. 